If you see dog ears in the background, I have three dogs and they are all laying on the bed and one of them is laying right next to me right here. So that's what that is. But anyways, I digress. You done, buddy? <laughs> Hello friends of No Friend Left Behind, Shay here and welcome back to our channel. So today's video is not going to be very long. Basically, I just want to sit here and be very candid with you guys. I'm not going to show you any numbers or anything like that. I'm just going to tell you how I've been feeling lately. I know a lot of people do wonder if people get frustrated while they're doing their, like working on their Etsy shops. And I'm going to tell you, I am definitely one of those people that do get frustrated. Um, so I will break down some of my feelings and just let you know exactly what I'm doing and how I am trying to figure out how to get past those feelings. So before I do that, uh, don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you can get more tips, more insight to each one of our shops to see how we're feeling, how we're doing and our progress with our shops. So lately in my shop, I've kind of been feeling a little frustrated. And the reason why I've been feeling frustrated is because I have been doing my work. Like I've really been putting a lot of listings in my shop. I over I have over 600 listings in my shop now. And I don't expect for anything to take off overnight, but it's still frustrating to know that I'm putting in this effort and it's just, it's taking a lot longer. So basically how I feel is I'm doing all this work, but I'm not really getting anything returned. Now, I've been getting a sale like maybe once a week or once every other week. Um, so that is why it's just so frustrating because I'm only getting like one sale with maybe two shirts or three shirts. And what I sell is print on demand shirts in my Etsy shop. Um, but what I've been doing, like I've only been getting a sale maybe once a week or every other week and it's just very frustrating for the amount of work that I am putting into it. Now I'm going to break that down for you. Like I feel right now like my efforts, they're pointless, okay? In my mind, those are the thoughts that come up. Why are you doing this, Shay? Why are you adding so many listings and you have really barely anything to show? I'm doing it for the future. It's not necessarily gonna take off right now, but if I continue to do the correct things, those correct things being adding value to the market, um, doing research, um, just being in my shop every day and being consistent, or at least being in my shop every week and being consistent. And I know that I am doing those things for the most part. And when I say for the most part, I know that there are times when I do things that have already passed, like I create listings that have already passed. So I'm not necessarily going to see anything come of that now, but in the future that may take off. But again, there is no guarantee with that as well. So I just kind of have to hope. But anyways, so moving forward, what I have to do to get myself from being frustrated, I do have to get a calendar really get a calendar and have it in front of me but i just i don't because my adhd i told you guys about my adhd just doesn't allow for me to because even if i have a calendar in front of me i will see something a, a topic that i should be working on and maybe i will work a little bit on it but then my mind starts going around in circles and it comes up with its own ideas and then i think oh my gosh this would be fantastic now it's coming off of some of the research that I've done, the ideas that start to that start to take place in my mind that I want to actually get out, but it's not necessarily what needs to be done now to see the results that I'm looking for sooner than later. So some of the other feelings that I've had are, I feel like I'm a failure, like my shop is a failure, like my listings are a failure, like everything that I'm doing, I'm just, I'm a failure at it. But you know what? Those are just negative thoughts. They're very toxic thoughts. And I can't allow myself to continue thinking those toxic thoughts. Now, I will allow myself to feel bad just for a little bit because you have to allow yourself to 
go through those feelings and, and I allow myself to do that. I don't let myself do it for longer than maybe a, a couple minutes, like 30 minutes. I'll do like 30 minutes, I'll allow myself to feel that way, go on, do something else, and then I'll come back and I'll start to prepare myself for more positive thoughts. And how I do that is I do have some positive affirmations that I say to myself. I tell myself, you know, that I am doing a good job. I know that I am working hard. I know that I am doing the research. I know that my listings do look pretty good. I look at other shops, uh, bestseller shops, that are selling and I don't take what they're doing exactly. I get inspiration from those shops and I create my own. So when you are feeling that way, it's okay to allow yourself to feel that way, but don't let it last. A friend of mine actually said to only let it last for 15 minutes, but I give myself an extra 15 minute grace period. <laughs> so I allow myself to feel that way for a good 30 minutes and then I move on because you know what? It is not going to do anything positive for you or your shop or your mental health. Now, another thing that you can do besides have positive affirmations, you might want to journal about your feelings uh, with your Etsy shop right now. Maybe you can write down how you're feeling right now, and then in the future you can look back once you start, once your shop starts doing amazing, you can go back and you can see those feelings that you were having. Now, I'm really bad when it comes down to journaling. I'll do it one week out of a month, and then I won't do it again for another week, two months later. Um, so it's not something that I necessarily do on a consistent basis, but it is something good to do. So if that is what you like to do, then you may want to journal your feelings and write them down so that later on you can look back to see how you were feeling in this time until you get over that hump. All right, so something that I try and tell myself all the time is nothing comes easy. Nothing comes easy. If it were easy, everybody would be doing it. Same thing with Etsy. Just because my very first shop started taking off pretty well in the very beginning doesn't mean that this shop is going to be taking off. And if you don't know my story, I can link it down so that you can see what happened to my very first shop. And in a nutshell, my very first Etsy shop that I had was put on vacation mode by Etsy and they never took it out of vacation mode. So essentially my shop was pretty much shut down. However, they didn't actually go in and shut my shop down. I can still go into that old shop and I can manipulate things. I just can't sell anything out of that shop. It's on vacation mode permanently. And I did reach out to them, to Etsy, and never heard back from them. So I just decided to open up a new shop. My very first shop, it was starting to take off pretty quickly, fairly quickly. And I wasn't expecting for that to happen with this shop, but I was hoping by now with the amount of listings that I have in my shop that I would be selling a little more. Um, again, last year I wasn't putting the effort into it as I should have and I just started in January of this year being consistent in my shop and putting listings up every week and staying in my shop as much as I possibly can, but I can't help but feel frustrated. Here we are in April and I'm getting maybe one sale a week with maybe two shirts or I'm getting one sale every other week. Now I do have some positive news. I was really, like I was really feeling down last week. And as I was really thinking what I could do differently about my shop, I was, I was trying to figure out, well, maybe I should put a sale on in my shop with an extra sale on in my shop. Maybe I should lower my prices. Maybe I should do this and that. And I talked to Shauna about it and she told me, you know what, no, 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 don't mess with anything. It's just because of where you are at this time and how many listings you have. So just continue moving forward. But even though I was feeling that way, I ended up getting a sale with six shirts. That made me so happy. And then not only did I have that sale with six shirts in it, but then I had another sale. It only had one shirt, but still, I don't care. It was a sale. It made me so happy to hear both of those coming in. So it may be frustrating and I understand that it's going to be in the long run where I'm really going to start seeing uh, more sales, more customers coming into my shop. And I just have to be patient. I have to be patient. And sometimes I don't have that. <laughs> 
in all honesty sometimes i don't have it a lot of times i do have patience but right now i'm just at that threshold i will get back to the point where i won't feel this way anymore i've allowed myself to feel the feelings and now i'm, I'm coming back down to to being able to have that patience again now in all honesty had it not been for shauna i probably would have given up on my shop uh, because i see her on a consistent basis working on her shop. I have heard some of the things and the frustrations that she did have earlier on. So I remember those things. I hear my other friends that have their shops and they are also frustrated at times, but then they move forward and they, they are consistently working in their shops and trying to make their shop better and they are moving forward. But if it weren't for Shauna and seeing how well her shop is doing, I probably would have given up but this is your sign right now to not give up on your shop because it can work you have to make sure that you are doing the correct things that would be again like what I said earlier um, making sure that you are adding value to the market making sure you're doing your research just making sure you're having beautiful mock-ups just all these things you do have to make sure that you are doing your research you're doing your homework and staying consistent with your shop so you guys don't give up i'm not going to give up i'm not going to give up i really truly just wanted to come and tell you that I think a lot of us that really want this to work do go through feelings like this. There are some people that probably that don't necessarily go through this and those people amazing like I am so happy for them but I know that personally I am feeling this way and if you feel that way just know that you are not alone that I'm there with you but I am moving forward and you can move forward too. keep going with your shop because it's going to be worth it in the long run it really will be now I don't know when that long run will be but it will definitely work for you so it'll work for you it'll work for me I'm going to continue working on my shop all right so I know that this video is very short, but I really just wanted to come on and encourage you guys. If you are also feeling frustrated about your Etsy shop, if you are feeling frustrated about your shop, if you have something else that you are into, don't allow that to stop you continue if you're feeling that way right now if you felt that way in the past if you know someone that's feeling that way you guys keep moving forward let's do this together keep moving forward because it's in the long run where you're gonna see positivity and you'll feel so good about it once you see what happens at the home stretch you will feel so happy about it you'll be so happy that you continued and that you didn't give up i know that i am very happy that i have not given up again if it weren't for shauna i would have given up a long time ago i know that i would have given up a long time ago but i've seen how far she's come i've seen how amazing her shop is doing and so this gives me the courage to continue moving forward and i want to give you guys that courage also you know that movie uh, the water boy with um what's his name adam sadler and uh the other guy that's in the background that's just like you can do it that's me for you guys you can you can do it i can do it we can do it let's do this together if you're still here with me thank you so much for watching with me and i hope that this is encouraging to you and i do hope that you continue on with whatever in life it's throwing at you especially etsy whatever etsy is throwing at you please continue with it don't give up keep moving forward because you guys got this now what i want you to do if you're still here i want you to write down some words of encouragement for either yourself either a friend or anybody that will come and read the comments here and let's all encourage each other to move forward and continue and not give up bye guys and i will see you next video